G'day, that's Lock Cargo here, and welcome to episode 10 of my five favorites. And because it's episode 10, I thought I would do a special edition. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I love Porsche. So today is going to be five manufacturers and five different Porsches out of my own personal collection to share with you today. So let's get stuck into it. What do I have for car number one? Well, let's find out together. So for episode 10, the Porsche special, I think I've kicked off with an absolute bang on. I've maybe set the bar a little bit too high for the rest of the cars, but we'll find out as we go through. But for car number one, it does go to Ninko. It's part of the Ninko Sports range. It's the Porsche 934 in the Martini livery. Absolute stunning slot car. Now I know this series is called My Five Favorites, but this is definitely a favorite of mine in the Ninko range. Now in Australia, a lot of Ninko cars are collectible, and I will say this is one of them. You don't really see these come up for sale much, most Porsches in the Ninko range, but when they do, snap them up because they are quite collectible. Now, it's an older slot car, but you wouldn't really tell. It looks incredible, so a definite banger in my collection. Now, how am I gonna follow this up? Well, I don't know. Let's find out what car number two is. So for car number two for this Porsche special for episode 10, I think I'll follow up with an absolute banger again. It's fly slot, it's the Porsche 908. Absolute stunning looking slot car. And again, this isn't a new slot car, but the detail on these fly Porsches are incredible. And if you do collect fly, you know what you're looking at. They are a very good slot car. And still today, fly make incredible slot cars. So wrap your laughing gear around this. It's the Porsche 908, beautiful blue and yellow livery. It's a real aquary blue. I don't know if it's coming through on camera properly, but a stunning slot car nonetheless. But look at that, an absolute weapon. Porsche, it's a Porsche special. Car number two, I think we're trekking pretty good. So let's check out what I've got for car number three. So I think I've done it again. Car number three, absolute banger. Scale auto, which I think this is the first scale auto that we've seen in my five favorite series. It's the Porsche 935-77 from the 1977 race in Silverstone in the white liveried version of the Martini. So. We've seen the silver, we've seen the white. What's your favorite? I think I do like the white, but I think each livery looks different on each shape car. And of course, this is much different to the Ninka that I showed earlier. But what a stunning looking slot car. Now, Scale Lotto, if you haven't got one, definitely grab one. Becoming quite collectible here in Australia, definitely. But around the world, you check the prices and they do go up and up. Now, this is part of the Home Racing Series. Scale Lotto did a couple of different series. This is part of the Home Racing Series. You can tell by the box art actually says Home Series. So there you go, car number three. I think I've done it again, an absolute banger. Can I follow it up with car number four? Let's find out together. So for car number four, I've called in the big guns. We've gone scale 124 with auto art, and there's a couple of reasons why this car is special. Firstly, it's auto art. Not many people know auto art did make slot cars in 132 and 124. Secondly, it's a street car. It's not a race car. It's a Porsche 997 in beautiful red. We normally see race cars in today's collections, and most manufacturers focus on a race car because people have an attachment to it. But it's great seeing a road car or an everyday car when it comes to Porsche in your collection. And it's 124. So there you go. Collectability wise, I don't really see many 124 scale auto art cars pop up. But you do see them from time to time. So if you do see them, grab them. Great looking car. Not a bad runner, but it's more for the collector. But there you go. Car number four, the big guns, 124 scale auto art. But let's finish off with some retro goodness for car number five. So to finish off episode 10, the Porsche special, I thought there's no better way to go out than with the Joker's Porsche by Scalatric. Yes, a bit of retro goodness. Now there's many reasons I love this car, but one of the main reasons is the color choice. Now I'm an 80s kid, I love the first Batman, and this draws me straight back to that movie. I know it's not replicated because of the movie, but the colors are Joker's colors. Now you probably wouldn't get away with a slot color like this these days, you know, green rims, purple car, yellow interior. But to me, this is this is perfect. This is a collector's dream, and to me, it's gold. So there we go, episode five. We're gonna run out with the Joker's Porsche. Do you have the Porsche in your collection? It took me some time to get the Joker's Porsche boxed. I do have it loose, but I'm wrapped that I've got a box, but huge Batman fan, huge Joker fan. I think it's a fitting way to go out. So that's a wrap on episode 10 of my five favorites, the Porsche special. I've chosen five different manufacturers and five very different Porsches to share with you from my own personal collection. But if you can, hit the comments and let me know what are your five favorites 
out of your own collection. But I do have to say a massive thank you to a subscriber of mine, Tony Tibbs. You may remember he shared that photo of the RC bike he was working on. Well, Tony's been very busy. He went to the UK Slot Car Festival, which I'm extremely jealous of. I think that is a bucket list for anyone who's a slot head. But he shared some photos of the cars that were on display, the real one-to-one -one cars. But he was very lucky. He bought an edition of the Slot Car Magazine, and I think he put his hand in the bag and pulled out a number. There was some kind of raffle where he could win a Porsche Slot Car or a Ferrari Slot Car, and he won. So he shared a photo of the SRC Ferrari 312, which I think is an incredible looking slot car. I would have went Porsche, but you know I love SRC, but a free slot car is pretty cool. So thanks for sharing, mate. Thanks for rubbing salt in the wounds because I do want to be at that UK slot car festival, which hopefully next year I can make it. So that's a bucket list for me. But here's my email. If you do want to send me anything you're working on, any builds or anything in between, please, I'd love to share it on our channel. But as always, at that slot car guy on Instagram and YouTube, be safe, take care, support your local. Ciao.